Hey, what's up everyone? It's Hash and today we're gonna learn how to play You Really Got Me by Van Halen. Well, popularized by Van Halen because this is originally a Kinks song, but the most common version that a lot of us know is the Van Halen version. This song is half a step lower than standard tuning, so we could call it E flat or D sharp. All right, so let's get started. We are in E flat or D sharp. And here we go. Okay, so we start off with the third fret of our low E string. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna play an A power chord. That's our A string, open, second fret of our D string, and the second fret of our G string. So we go. And the picking motion is... So let's slow this down. So the picking motion with my right hand is this. So check this out. So I go, which is what I'm doing here is I'm muting all my strings. I go down, up, and when I come down, I play the third fret of my low E. So I go. So it starts off like this. You can play along if you'd like. Okay, so when we end this phrase, we go, and then, so all that is, and then we start this pattern again, but instead of going, we're gonna do something different. We're gonna go. So all we're doing is, an intro we did, now we're doing. So let's backtrack a little bit. Okay, so as you saw in the end, what I did was... So instead of going, I'm gonna go. And that's the third fret of my low E. And then the vocals kick in. But let's backtrack from the beginning. Okay, and then we go to the verse and we're doing the same two chords or actually the same one note on the low E string which is the third fret and then our A power chord but we're gonna do this palm muted now. So we're going from to So same chord and note on the low E string but palm muted. So we go And then we go. Okay, so don't let that scare you. That's pretty easy. What we're doing is we're gonna bend up the fourth fret of our G string. And then we're gonna go to the second fret of our G string. And then we're gonna play the fourth fret on our G string again, and we're gonna bend the string up again. So we go. Then we go. So we go. And 
and that is the fourth fret of our D to the third to the second, fourth fret of our A to the third to the second. Pivot. So you'll notice what I'm doing is when I play the strings, I'm almost doing a pinch harmonic by holding the pick really close to the fleshy part of my fingers and pinching the string. And also what I'm doing is when I play these notes, I'm not playing them like this. I'm playing them. So there are almost these little bends when I play each of these notes. And I'm playing them really aggressive, so I go. So let's backtrack a little bit. And then we go back to the verse. And this time we go. Okay, so what we do when we go back to the verse and then come back to the second riff, we're gonna play the seventh fret of our G string, bend it up, and then play the fifth fret. and do this really tight pinch harmonic type picking. And you go from seven, five, and you come back to seven again and bend the string up. And then you go five, seven on your D string and pull the string down a little bit. And then go five, seven on your A string. So, and then we're gonna go three, five on our A string. So, again, slow, and then we're going to go back to the verse, but instead of going, we're going to go, so let's backtrack a little bit. So we start the verse off with, And after that we go. So what we're doing is we're going a little bit higher on the fretboard now. Instead of going, we're going. So what that is, it's the second fret of our A string and the fourth fret of our D string. So from here we go to our open A string and the second fret of our D string. So we go. And then come back to the second fret of our A and fourth fret of our D string. So. Okay, so let's go back to where the vocals kick in. So once we come here to the 5th fret of our A and 7th fret of our D string, we play this power chord, then we're going to go to the 7th fret of our A and 9th fret of our D string, we're going to go... And that's pretty much the chorus. So we're sliding from the 5th fret of our A and 7th fret of our D string, to the 7th fret of our A and 9th fret of our D string, and we're sliding back and forth between these two power chords. We're going. So as the chorus progresses, instead of just playing, he starts adding these notes. He starts going. So what you're doing is you're adding the 7th fret of your G string on this power chord, 
And then when we go up the fretboard, you're gonna be playing the ninth fret of your G string. So pretty much what I did is I put my pinky finger on the G string. So now I have the seventh fret on the G string as well. To the ninth fret, of course. And then what I'm doing is I'm barring down my ring finger. So now I'm getting the seventh fret of my B string too. And the ninth fret as well when I go up. And at some point he goes, he bends up the fifth fret of his B string and comes back and goes. Okay, so let's recap the chorus. Okay, so I really don't like counting how many times I'm playing something, but for this instance, because you have this, I needed to figure out where he's doing this. So that's why I had to count how many times they play on the chorus, and it's six times. And after the fifth time, you bend the fifth fret of your B string up, and you come back to this, and you go. And you start the second verse. So let's slow down a little bit. So we went. Okay, so we end the chorus on the fifth fret of our A and seventh fret of our D string. And this, by the way, is a D power chord. And then we do this cool thing, which is a pick slide on our low E and A string. And then we go to our second verse. But now let's go back and recap what we have so far from the beginning. Okay, so now the second verse is almost identical to the first verse. The only difference is the riffs that he's playing. So if you go to the second verse and we go. Okay, and after that, there is the pre-chorus and the chorus, which is pretty much the same as the first part. Okay, so the first riff that we're gonna do on the second verse is... Okay, so what this is, on the ninth fret of our G string, we're gonna go... It's this bend, and there's a pinch harmonic that he does here on your guitar. It's probably gonna be a little bit different than mine. Each guitar is gonna be different. To catch that high-pitched pinch harmonic that he's doing, you have to find out on your guitar where you can get that sound. Let me give you an example. So if I play in different places of my guitar, I get different sounds from the string. So I can go. And I think that's closer to what he does in the song. So you just have to figure out where you have to play your G string to get that pinched high pitch sound. Okay, so we're bending up the ninth fret of our G string. There you go. 
and then when we bend it down we go so you bend it up bend it down and then you're gonna do a hammer on from the seventh fret to the ninth fret on your G string actually it's a hammer on pull off you hammer on to the ninth pull off back to the seventh and slide to the sixth fret and then you're gonna play the seventh fret of your D string and the seventh fret of your A string really fast it's a pinch harmonic again and then you're gonna play the fifth fret of your A string and you're gonna bend it so and also when I play these real fast I'm doing a little bit of a bend I'm bending this string down as well as this one a little bit of a bend so we bend and then we go back into the verse and then we go okay so what he's doing there is so there's a hammer on from the fifth fret to the eighth fret on our B string hammer on and pull off and with his right hand what he's doing is he's sliding from the 10th fret to the 15th fret and in the end it almost sounds like what he's doing is he's taking his pick and he's hitting the 10th fret and going up the fretboard so it sounds like this and then he goes to All right, well, that's pretty much it because then the pre chorus and chorus are the same. But now let's play the second verse slow so we can do this together. Okay, and from that point on, there's the pre-chorus and the chorus. All right, well, I hope that helped. Let me know if you guys would like me to teach any more of these cool songs, and I will catch you guys next time.